Hello and welcome to section 4, Causal Bayesian Networks. We saw that a structural causal model defines the following. A causal network G, an observational distribution P, an intervention distribution, which we also denote by P for simplicity. We also saw that the causal network satisfies the following properties. G is an I map for P and it's modular with respect to P. Both of these properties are independent of uh, the SCM, like I don't need to know the equations or the exogenous variables to get these two properties. This motivates defining causal networks independently of SCMs. So a causal network uh, can be defined in this way. Consider a set, of, uh, set V of random variables with probability distribution P, a DAG G is a causal network compatible with P if and only if first G is an I map for P and secondly uh, it's modular P of Y condition on parent on its parents and when we intervene on Z it's the same as P of V condition on its parents for all interventions except for when it's on Y so anything other than the intervention point, this property should hold. So if a, a graph satisfies these properties with respect to P, then it is compatible with P and it is a, it is a causal network. Okay, great. Uh, but this is just the graph. What about answering queries? Uh, we saw that if augmented with the CPDs, the causal get, uh, graph can answer both probabilistic and intervention queries where the intervention queries were answered by mutilation. But uh, this again motivates us to define uh, an, a notion with CPDs independent of SCMs. And this is exactly how we define causal Bayesian networks, a Bayesian network that can answer both types of queries. Consider random variables V with joint distribution P, a causal model or a causal Bayesian network CBN uh, over V is a Bayesian network and as if you recall the Bayesian network has two components a graph G and a probability distribution P of C C here is for the causal Bayesian network over the variables V that answers both probabilistic queries so P of Y condition on X this is from the variables okay like for example from data but um, ideally and this will equal to P of C, the one from the Bayesian network of Y condition on X. So in order to answer this, I can just refer to the Bayesian network. And it also enter answers intervention queries. Uh, P of Y condition on 2 of Z and X is equal to P of Y condition on X in the mutilated network. If a network, if a Bayesian network satisfi satisfies these two properties, it is a causal Bayesian network. So in this sense, I don't need to get that deep into an SCM. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we don't need SCMs. That's the, the essence, that's the basis of a causality. That's how we defined causality, at least in the non-probabilistic sense. And we will get to the point that some questions can actually only be answered by SCMs. So um, note that CBNs are not defined based on causal networks. Also, um, I didn't use any notion of causal network here. It was a causal Bayesian network. However, uh, the network of this uh, ba causal Bayesian network uh, satisfies the conditions for a causal network. Answering probabilistic queries implies that the structure is an I map, and answering intervention queries implies that the structure is modular. So I can have this proposition that the structure of a causal Bayesian network over a set of random variables with distribution P is a causal network compatible with P. Okay? Now, so does every link in a causal Bayesian network represent a causal relationship? We had that in the previous section. The answer is negative, similar to why every link in a Bayesian network does not necessarily imply uh, a, de a a dependence in the variable's distribution, P. To see why we need a truly causal model, which again is an SCM, so here I have an example, X, Z, Y, 
x has the exogenous parent and it's causing z directly and y is causing, caused by z. Now consider the following causal network G with the additional link from X to Y. G is an I map for the underlying distribution and it's also modular. It's not difficult to see this. It's Im it immediately follows that it's an I map because it's a fully connected network. And you can see that, for example, if I intervene on X, it doesn't have any parents. It uh, satisfies the modularity. If I intervene on Z, then y is not impacted i have to remove this and it's the same as here if i intervene on y then uh, uh, there's uh, z and x as its parents so uh, the probability of y will change it's not violating the modularity assumption that we had here let me bring it back for you so even if I intervene on y, p of y condition on its parents, which are z and x, will be again p of y condition on its parents, which are z and x. It's just that uh, I'm only intervening on z, but that doesn't matter. x also appears here. The problem would be when I had fewer than enough in my parents. Okay? So... G is compatible for the underlying distribution, although X to Y is not causal. So similar to BN, so how can we tackle this problem? Similar to Bayesian networks, to tackle this issue, we can impose the faithfulness assumption, and we will get there later. Uh, if we want to make the link from observation to causality, there are some assumptions we need to make. So back to our roadmap, uh, we defined SCMs and we see that they can entail or from there we can define causal Bayesian networks and causal Bayesian networks uh, are basically also a Bayesian network. So the direction is like this and we already know how to learn from observational data uh, a Bayesian network by structural uh, structure and parameter learning. However, this direction is still unclear. How how can I, or even, w is it possible to get from a Bayesian network to a causal Bayesian network? What do I need to get there? Okay, so far I only can get here. Okay, great. Um, now that I have these three components defined, I want to introduce the, the Perl's three layers of ca uh, causal hierarchy. The first one is association seeing, observing. The type of queries are the probabilistic queries, P of Y condition on X. An example is what is the probability of developing cancer given that the individual smokes? Um, to be more precise, given that the individual is observed to smoke or we see that the individual smokes. Um, how can we answer this? Well, we can answer it by any of the three uh, Bayesian network causal Bayesian network or structural causal models. All of them can answer this query. The second layer, a deeper, la deeper layer, is intervention, doing. Type of queries, intervention query is P of Y condition on do of X. An example would be what is the probability of developing cancer if the individual quits smoking? So now the individual is doing something. It's not that we observe the individual. Uh, does not smoke, okay? Uh, this can be answered only by causal Bayesian networks and structural causal model. Bayesian networks in general cannot answer such type of queries. The more deeper level is a counterfactual or imagining. Type of uh, queries are denoted like this. Uh, let me first get to the example. What would have happened if the individual had quitted smoking. So I'm talking about something in the past. And the notation is like here. Uh, x. We have observed that x was equal to 0, and now we want to get the probability of y when x is uh, forced to 1, but I'm not talking about present, I'm talking about something in the past. We will get there in section 6. We will address this part. Okay. Now this can be only answered 
by SCMs because it appears that if you want to answer such type of questions, you need to have some information about the exogenous variables as well. Okay. Great. At the end, I want to provide a couple of examples uh, about intervention queries. We already have defined them. Just uh, here, we want to see how we can answer them using mutilated networks and why it's necessary to use mutilated networks. So the simple case, COVID fever, um, if we read arrows as causal directions, the correct graphical representation would be from COVID to fever. Okay, COVID is causing fever. And if augmented with the CPDs, the graph answers all probabilistic queries like P of F, fever condition, and COVID because it is an IMAP for the true distribution. Okay, does this graph also answer intervention queries? Uh, we know that, uh, well, by mut uh, mutilation, not just the way it is here. Uh, for example, for P of F condition on do of C, as C causes F, we can conclude that it's the same as P of F condition on C. Okay? So I can basically use the same graph uh, and answer this. There is nothing here to mutilate as the parents of COVID. But note here that for P of C condition on do of F, as F does not depend on C, it's not equal to P of C condition on F. It's basically the same as P of C. The probability of COVID, if we force the individual to have fever, is the same as the probability of COVID. Fever does not in the result in COVID. So the correct graph here, that's why we have the mutilation. Like we, we should write it down as P of C and we need to take out the, remove the links to fever. Now let me include the role of vaccine. If we intervene on vaccine by forcing vaccination or preventing it, we will see that the distribution of COVID changes. Okay, so it will become more likely when, it's, uh, when we're preventing vaccination. So vaccine does cause COVID, but a similar thing happens with fever. When we prevent or force vaccine, the distribution of fever as a side effect can change. So vaccine also causes fever, and the resulting causal uh, graph will be in this form. Okay, I'm not talking about uh, the SCM layer here with all the equations. I'm just using the intervention tool as a, a way to detect causality. Okay, now even the intervention query P of F condition on do of C cannot be answered as before. So it's not basically P of F condition on C, even though we have that COVID is a direct cause of fever. Okay, and the reason is as follows. This second part, P of F condition on C, if I uh, include the variable V and marginalize it out, it will equal to this term. P of F condition on the two of them times P of V condition on C. Now, however, the correct way to do the first part is to write down the same thing, but when I have do of C here, okay? Now, P of F condition on vaccination and do of C is the same as P of F condition on C and vaccination. Do, the do operator doesn't matter here. It's a direct cause. But what about this other one, P of V condition on do of C? Well, uh, in this case, C is not causing vaccination. It's a uh, vaccination is causing C. So if I force C, vaccination does not change. So this will be simply P of V, not P of V condition on C. This is a different distribution from this one. So the correct answer is obtained when I mutilate the network and then I can uh, answer the intervention query. To summarize, from the very intuitive notion of causality, we obtained or defined SCMs which are able to answer counterfactual queries and these other two, intervention and probabilistic. And from SCMs, we can get CBNs, which can answer intervention queries in particular. And from there, we can get to Bayesian networks, which can answer probabilistic queries. How we can answer these two, like we already covered intervention queries, but we will get to the point where if we have a latent variable, what will happen here? And then in the next chapter, we will get to counterfactual queries.